Mafuta ndio hiyo ime Ah watu wenye wanatosha usuri Sijui mtu yuko na kamote Sijui yako na lu Ladies and gentlemen Let me start this video By appreciating Your support towards this channel This channel Could have not been where it is today If it was not your Support I thank you guys for always coming back to watch the content of this channel and for those who have been contributing in giving me advice here and there and motivating me to keep on doing this analysis may God bless you and for those who are here for the first time just in case you have not subscribed to my youtube channel Kindly, I'm requesting that you may take a moment, subscribe and put on the notification bell so that every time I upload a new video, YouTube will automatically notify you. If you subscribe and forget putting on the notification bell, YouTube will not notify you when I give you a new video. And for the returning subscribers, thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, you know very well during the campaigns, the hit or the song that Kenya Kwanza used to use is Hatupangwingwi. Hustlers used to sing this song. Hata plezeote uliku natembea, they were telling you that sisi kama mahasela hatupangwingwi. And this time, that song is not in fashion. Right now, they must accept kupangwa ni lazima. They used to sing well with those who were campaigning, but right now, hawana voice, lazima watapangwa. Ladies and gentlemen, during campaigns, Kenya Kwanza had their manifesto, and Azimiro Moja also had their manifesto. But right now, as I'm speaking, I'm not talking of Azmiolo Moja. I want to talk of Kenya Kwanza. First of all, the President William Samuel Ruto needs more than 2.6 trillion to actualize the pre-election pledges. You know, this Kenya Kwanza had a lot of pledges and they made to Kenyans. And this is the time wanainji wanaka wanasema we did our part and it's time for the president to fulfill. It's hard. President Mwenyewe Saizi Mali Ako anajalipu kufanya vile ataweza at least every hustler akwe satisfied with what he's going to do but Things are hard on the ground. People must accept kupangwa and kama hawapangwi, sasa lazima wa jalibu kufanya venye watakafyo ili waweza kupata chenye wanataka. Ladies and gentlemen, Hustler Fund draft regulations was raised yesterday. And in this video, I want to give out the conditions that was given for one to acquire this hustler fund. I don't see the difference between the hustler fund and the Oweso fund we used to have before. But when you look at this uh, hustler fund, the conditions are tough. And guys, as I'm going to read these conditions that they have given, you will not start the condition they have given number three number one they for one to acquire this hustler fund you have to apply as an independent so it's an individual applicant and b is smes societies, jama group depo banking group or an other association those are the groups they have given out 
Let me start with number one, which is an individual applicant. For one to apply this hustler fund as an individual applicant, he or she, he or she must be 18 years and above. So, kama haujafika 18 years, you will not access hustler fund. Number two, one must be a Kenyan. Being a Kenyan, you must have an ID. You know very well that you will never apply anything in this country when it comes to money without an ID. So you must have an ID. And it's unfortunate that most of the hustlers who are saying hatu bangwingwi, hawatu hawananga ID. Most of them, they lost their IDs and they never went to reapply so that they can have IDs. They voted with mouth. They never went on the ground to vote. But now they have been saying that we are waiting the hustler fund. Hustler fund will be out. But if you don't have an ID, you must start it right now. Politically, when you look at this, this is a way of isolating those who have been saying that they are waiting this fund to use without paying it back. I've heard so many people saying that Kituanangoja Nihi has a fund. At the moment they will have it, they will use it, and they will not pay. Most of the people are waiting this hustler fund. If they don't have any business, they're not in any jama, and they're expecting that they're going to receive this money. And now this is a shocker to them. They must reveal what the government has said. Number three, they have said that one must fulfill any other conditions as may be determined by the board. Hapa tumeficha. Kuna kitu wameficha hapo and most of the people are not going to be told. To me when I look at it keenly, there are so many loan lenders outside here. We have Kenya Women Finance. You know what they have been doing guys. Kama utachukua hustler fund and you are not going to use it in a correct way, my friend, be careful. Mashamba yataenda. People will lose properties in the name of Hustler Fund. Because at the end of the day, you must pay it back with an interest. This was not free, guys. And at the end of this discussion, I'm going to play a clip whereby the president was talking about Hustler Fund and what it it entailed during the campaigns. Let me talk of number two, whereby it contains SMEs, SMEs, Sarko Sartis, Jama Group, Tepo Panging Group, or an other association. Number one, this group must have all members 18 years and above. This one with that of an individual applicant is the same. Number two, this group must be registered by the relevant government institution. So if your group is not registered, this man is not going to go through. You might apply as a group, but if it's not registered, don't call yourself hustlers and don't expect receiving hustler fund number three that one i read in the individual applicant it is saying must meet any other conditions as may be determined by the board these conditions have not been filled out lazima tungoje and we must know what it entails now there are some penalties Penalties, they are saying that anyone 
who misappropriates and funds all assets of the funds commits shall be liable to a fine not exceeding 10 million all a term of imprisonment not exceeding five years or both guys these conditions are tough and as i started saying that this government needs over 2.6 trillion to fulfill all the promises they gave during campaigns ladies and gentlemen trust me this man they're not going to be given 50 billion as they said or the 50 billion the the, the parliament committee is going to pass they are not going to be given out 50 billion there are some people who are going to pocket this man and there are some people who are not who are going to benefit through this man who are not hustlers and those are the people who funded the campaigns of the president and those are the people who supported him who were on ground campaign for him and these are the people who made the president to be where he is today ladies and gentlemen have a lovely night as someone to prepare the next video